Yo, 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 what is going on YouTube? It's your boy, Technically T, hit you with another video today, another case video, but this time it's gonna be for the iPhone 12 mini. Now, I'm not sure how many case reviews that I'm gonna do for the 12 mini. Yes, I do have a 12 mini in hand, but like I said, I don't really, don't know if I'm gonna get deep into the accessories, but Kadabe did hook me up with their cases for the 12 mini. So I was like, hey, while I got the phone, let me go ahead and run through the cases so you guys can definitely pick one of these up because I'm here to tell you right now, these are probably some of the best cases on the market. So let's go ahead and take a look at the cases that we have today. Now we only have two styles. They do make more than two, but these are the two that we have right now. We have the Lucid Clear in both a graphite color and the crystal color. Now, if you guys know me, the Lucid Clear is one of my favorite clear cases because it is like, the clearest case that you can possibly get if you're a clear case lover. It's definitely one to check out. And you do have the synthesis. Now they did send a gray version and they did send a stealth black version, but guess what? The stealth black version isn't in the box and that is because I am using this case on my 12 mini and I am loving this case. So let's go ahead and start off with the synthesis theories and then we'll go ahead and move over to the lucid clear. All right. So if you've been following me for any period of time, you guys know that the Kadabe synthesis is probably one of my all time favorite cases. I absolutely love this case and I love the other cases that they make as well. I love the sheath. That's an excellent case as well. And just like I stated, the lucid clear. But when it comes to this synthesis on this 12 mini, this is literally perfection. Like when I popped this on this phone, I was like, yeah, they did it. They got this right when it comes to this. So let's go ahead and first take it out of the phone itself. So let's go ahead and pop it out. There we go. We got a black 12 mini. I know you guys haven't really seen that many videos about that. I did an unboxing on it on my live stream. So you can definitely go back and check that out if you want to watch it. Didn't put a lot of unboxing on the channel, but eh, you know what it was. It was a little bit late. Everybody got 12 mini, so you know what it is. But let's go ahead and take a look at the synthesis case. Now on the back, you're gonna get basically that hard plastic and you're gonna give a little bit of translucent effect. So it's not absolutely super transparent. It's actually very frosted in. And speaking to the people over there at Kadabe, they actually said they put a little bit more frosting on the back just to help with the fingerprints and the grippiness. So it's not as translucent as it's been over the years, but you guys know I love a frosted back case. Probably love this style over clear cases any day of the week. So that's what you're gonna get when it comes to the back. And on the sides, you're basically gonna get, you know, your rubber styles, but very stiff, very sturdy, very rigid, not flimsy or anything like that at all. So that's why I love this case because the fit is absolutely amazing. So when it comes to that right side, you're gonna get that mute toggle, volume up, volume down. You're gonna get like a little grip pattern right here. And this is really gonna help with gripping the, gripping the actual case right there. That's right where your thumb rests. So therefore that is gonna give you a nice level of grip. Same thing on the right side, you got that raised power button and you have that little same grip texture on the right hand side. Flip it over on the bottom, you get that cut out for your camera. Now that camera is not gonna be really protruding a lot, but one thing about, I love about it is the way it slopes in and you'll see kind of why once I pop the phone up in here. Flipping it over on the bottom, as you can see, you have precise, accurate speaker cutouts there. So let's go ahead and grab the 12 mini. Let's pop this bad boy back in and voila. <laughs> there it is, man. Love it, love it, love this case for the 12 mini. So let's go ahead and go through everything. And another thing that I actually forgot to point out was on the backs right here, you can see it kind of have little lips that's on each corner. So when you set it down, it's actually sitting on those little lips and not actually sitting on the back and the texture of the case. So that's another attention to detail that's very, very nice. So let's get into that mute toggle switch. All those, this is a tiny phone. That mute toggle switch is definitely small, definitely big enough to where you can get your finger in there and, and activate that with no issues. Volume up, volume down. Buttons are absolutely money. The buttons, buttons are perfect buttons. <laughs> the buttons are absolutely perfect. I mean, you really can't get a better fit when it comes in a responsiveness when it comes to those buttons. Flipping over on the bottom, as you can see, the speaker cutouts are very accurate, not misaligned or anything that I can tell. It looks spot on perfect. And when it comes to that power button, 
also nice and tactile as well. Flipping it over on the back, as you can see, even though everything is very thin, that camera that camera is very flush and it's actually recessed in there just a little bit. So you're definitely good when we are talking about sitting on the table. And another little effect that I like is how this, and I'm trying to see which way I could do the light, how this kind of smooths down onto the camera module itself. Now, when you're looking at this, everything looks very matte. Everything looks very clean on the back of this because of the matte surrounding the cameras. And then I got the matte material on the back of the case with that subtle Apple logo popping out of there. Everything just seems smooth. Everything seems subtle. I really like the way this back looks when it comes to the 12 mini in this synthesis series. So nice, nice little attention to detail. Another attention to detail is when you're holding this phone, sometimes your pinky has the habit of, of kind of drifting down here where the speaker cutouts are. One thing people like to note is, Will these speaker cutouts kind of dig into my finger when their finger is actually resting on it? And I'm safe to say that these are actually tapered in. So there are no rough edges when it comes to these speaker ports. Everything is tapered. Everything is very smooth. When you're holding the phone, everything feels perfect in your hands. Your finger can kind of, you know, graze the bottom of it and you'll be completely fine. So perfect in that aspect. Take a look at that lay on the tear protection. It does have a little lip that goes all the way around it. Now, even though Kadabe is known for their minimalist protection, it will handle you just in case if you were to drop it, they can handle that as well. So don't get it twisted thinking that these aren't going to protect your phone. If you drop it, your phone will be completely fine. Your case may take a little bit of damage, but the, the main thing, your main investment is fine. You can go buy another case. So it does have a nice little lay on tear protection going all the way around it. And I do have a tempered glass screen protector on it. Handles it just fine. Works just fine with them up there. So nice job when it comes to that. Next up, let's talk about that fit. And here is where I... And blown, blown away by this case on this phone. So when it comes to the sides, very stiff. When you get to these areas, you know that's going to pull. Power button, volume, that's just going to happen regardless. But down here, super rigid. It's not going anywhere. Top, super rigid. Can't get it to budge. Bottom down here, you really got to pull and tug to get it to budge. This fit is as tight as you need it to be. And you can still pop it out. No issues. But when that thing pops in... Oh, she pops in there. There's no creaking. There's no anything going on with this case. Sturdy A1 perfect fit. When I was talking to them, they said they had amazing synthesis for the Mini and they weren't lying. This thing here is the absolute truth. Spot on the money. Absolutely love it. So fit A++++++ <laughs> in my book. Now, how does the case actually feel in your hand? Oh, drop test. How does it feel in your hand? It feels good. The Mini, of course, you guys know it's going to be small. And the thing about this mini, you want to keep your phone small. You don't want to add any super bulky cases up there. And this is going to be one of those that it feels just like, I'm not going to say it's as, as, as slim as a case, as a phone by itself, but it is very thin no matter what, even, even with this case up there, very thin, gives you good grip. I feel like some people may say it feels a little slippery, but honestly, straight up with me using this for a few days, it definitely has enough grip to where I'm not like... God, this case is, is really slippery. It doesn't give me that type of vibe. So it definitely feels good in the hand and definitely, I hate saying that, but it does feel good in the hands. And uh, yeah, gives you a nice little confident feeling when we're talking about gripping this phone and doesn't add that bulk or anything unnecessary on it. So of course, dropping down on wireless charging, that's going to work perfectly fine. And for all my MagSafe lovers out there, popping it on MagSafe, it works just fine as well on MagSafe. Now, as I always say, the magnet is, isn't going to be crazy strong on this case because it's not a MagSafe case but if you do absolutely have to use MagSafe it does work with it so here's going to be the stealth black let's go ahead and pop on the gray version so you can see what that looks like and here is going to be the gray version on the black 12 mini so they give you a gray and they give you a black the gray the back is a little bit more of a clear frost and the size of course is going to give you that very nice charcoal dark gray so that's a nice little contrast as well but yep this is going to be the synthesis series absolutely love it next up is going to be their clear casing offering that is going to be the lucid clear so glass light clarity fingerprint resistant never discolors that's big i know a lot of people on clear case reviews are always like yo t does it yellow over time they're telling you right here it never discolors and i really think it's because of the material that they use it doesn't feel like any other clear case out there on the market and i absolutely believe them 100 percent when they say that it is not going to discolor so let's go ahead and take this stuff out the packaging on the inside, you basically just get what the case has going on and kind of give you very minimalistic packaging, man. You don't need much when it comes to these cases. So let's throw that down. 
Let's take a look at it. Let's go ahead and peel this actually off the case. Now it does have a little peel down here by the power port, but I always kind of struggle with that. So we're just gonna peel it off by here. So here it is. This is gonna be the Lucid Clear for the 12 Mini. So not really much to say, but it's gonna be that clear case. You have a hard plastic, so it's no flimsy type of clear TPU that's going to turn yellow or anything like that. You have a hard plastic. So you already know with that material, everything kind of changes the game when it comes to that. On the back, you do get that raised camera hump, and that does have a little lip for protection. On the left side, you get that cutout for your volume and your, your mute toggle, and your volume up and down are cutouts themselves. So that means you're going to be pressing the actual buttons on the phone. Not sure if you're a fan of that or not, but that's just what it is when it comes to this case. Flipping it over on the bottom, you have little dots, which actually correspond with the dots on the speaker grills on the phone. So let's see how accurate those are, but you get the precise cutouts for the dock. Lightning cable there, you get that some of that Kadabe branding right there. And as, as on, on the right side, cut out for that power, just like your volume up and down. And uh, yeah, that's going to be it. So let's go ahead and get the 12 mini. And let's pop that in here. Whew, A1. Oh yeah, oh yeah. And here, as you see, this, this one has like some of those slits that allows it for it to pop off on and off pretty easy. So right off bat, this definitely, definitely feels good does leave a little bit of fingerprints. I know it's an anti-fingerprint, but it does leave a little fingerprints, but I think what clear case does it. So let's go ahead and take a look around it. Mute toggle, wide open, very easy to get to. No issues at all when it comes to that mute toggle. Same with the volume up and down. You have no issues finding those buttons. And I'm glad they added a little bit of divider there so you can just, you know, distinguish in the dark or in places the difference between volume up and the volume down. So that's a nice little touch. Flipping it down over here on the bottom. Now, I'm not sure how you can pick it up on the camera, but these are very, very accurate cutouts. And I'm not seeing an issue with those cutouts at all. It looks spot on. Very nice attention to detail when it comes to that. It's a bold move. A lot of case companies sometimes may fail if it comes to doing something like that. And on the back, as you can see here, it is raised up from that camera. So you are protected there. Power button, very large. Easy to click, easy to get to. Next up, taking a look at that lay on the tail protection. Now you do have a faint lay on the tail protection, nothing too deep, but it is there. Like I said, very faint. I am, you know, timber glass screen protector is on this device. So, you know, it is what it is. Once again, minimalistic protection could take a drop or two, but you know, not heavy duty drops, but it does have a little lip. So it gives you a little bit of satisfaction there. Now, how does the case fit on the phone? super tight now this case is tight now i'm not here to tell you a lie you can pop it off on the bottom just fine but when we're talking about the sides up and down to the bottom this case is up there and it's not coming off until you want it to come off a one fit as well when it comes to this case once this thing pops in it's up there but if you want to pop it off boom you just pop a corner off but once that thing pops on she's up there with some confidence Nothing to really worry about. And how does it feel in your hand? Once again, it's not going to add tons of bulk. It is going to be a clear case, so those sometimes can get a little bit slippery. Just depends on how you get down when we're talking about clear cases. You might perfectly find that perfectly fine. That's totally up to you. It does leave fingerprints. It is going to leave smudges. So I think on the front it says fingerprint resistant. Uh... It does leave tons of smudges on it. So that's just what it's going to be. But I'm not blaming or faulting them for that. It's a clear case. I mean, what can you truly expect? But excellent, excellent clear case right here. Let's go ahead and bring the chargers over. Drop it on regular wireless charging. Works just fine. And let's see about that MagSafe. Once again, it can find MagSafe just fine. I thought it did, but let's let, let the wireless charging reset. And boom, there we go again. So it is able to work with your MagSafe charging. So... This is going to be the Lucid Clear. Now, this is going to be, let me find it. This is going to be the Crystal. This is a Crystal Clear version. So let me go ahead and pop on the Graphite. I'm pretty sure it's going to be just about the same, but it's going to be a darker type plastic that's over your phone. Let's go ahead and grab it real fast. And here is going to be the graphic. Just like I said, it's more of a smoke look color. But if you want to rock out like that and keep it very, very stealthy everything comes together when it comes to this black 12 mini so here's going to be an option for you as well so this is going to be the lucid clear just like i stated before definitely one of the best clear cases 
out there on the market. All right, so here are the cases from Kadabe. We have the Lucid Clears, that's on the outside, and on the inside, we have that beautiful synthesis. So you already know the links to these will be down below in the description, and Kadabe, I know you're watching this video. Please, please make this synthesis for the 12 Pro Max. Ah, please, please, just do that solid for me, man. But anyway, you guys already know the links to these will be down below. Do all the YouTube things, comment down below, hit the like button, hit that sub button, Hit that bell so you don't miss out on any of these future videos. But until next time, everyone, please be safe. Catch you on the next one. Later.